Are you curious about what your blood type is? You might be somebody like me that used a kit very much like this back in high school and forgot what it said. I got these off of Amazon for less than $6 each. I actually bought four of them, which gives me one for each member of my family and one to practice on, which you actually don't need. As long as you follow the instructions and a few tips that I'm gonna share with you in this video, you'll have no problems getting a very accurate result from this kit. This kit comes with everything that you need to get an accurate result in about 10 to 15 minutes. Your instruction guide, your test card, alcohol swab for your finger, lancet to poke your finger so that you bleed, a pipette to prepare the Eldon card for testing, and four sticks to help collect the blood and apply it to each of those circles. First thing I did was fill the pipette with water and I'm gonna place one drop on each of the colored dots. And you wanna make sure you don't touch those dots with the pipette. Next, I get out my Eldon sticks so that they're ready to use. I'm gonna clean the whole finger. While that's drying, I'm gonna prepare the lancing device all you have to do is twist and then pull the safety out. Now that this is dry, I'm going to put pressure here. It's gonna firm up the skin. I'm gonna take this and press right on the side until it pops. And there, getting, getting good blood. Now I'm gonna take one of the Eldon sticks and I'm going to Get blood, I'm gonna stir it, stay between the lines. You don't need a lot of blood. Massage my finger, get some more blood. Try to fill in that whole dot. <laughs> this is really tricky to do on camera, but getting a good drop there and, and uh, Trying to do it so you can see what I'm doing and coloring in the circle. Okay, so I didn't get a lot of blood on this card, but it doesn't need it. So now we're gonna take the card and we're gonna tilt it down for about 10 seconds. You could already see the anti-D agglutinating there. And we're gonna turn it, rotate it away, just tilt it away, center it again then tilt it to the right. You're trying to keep the drips from dripping out of one circle and into another that would contaminate it. And then drip to the left, just like that. And then we're gonna center it again and we're gonna sit it there and let it dry. And you see, <laughs> if you were doing this and you didn't have to hug a camera, you'd probably get more blood in each, but you actually do not need a lot of blood. That's the kind of result that is gonna work just fine. I've gone ahead and put my name and the date on my cards so I don't get this mixed up with other cards. And the results are very easy to read using the included chart. This is what you're looking for in the dots. This is a negative result and these are positive results. If you get this, you probably wanna redo the test. But as you can see here, I've got negative, negative, that's the control, that's negative, and that's positive result. That's agglutination right there. Very nice. And when you look at the included chart, right there I am. O positive. It took less than 10 minutes for me to get that result and it's as accurate as you're going to get in the hospital. Even though I was hugging a camera, that was even easier than I was expecting. It took about six minutes to follow all the steps and I got a result that's as accurate as in the hospital. One of the things that I don't like about these kits is that they're sold by this guy to get you to buy into his book and nutrition plans and all these different things. For eating for your blood type, you could just discard that information. There are plenty of other important reasons why you would want to know your blood type, including just having fun doing a science project with your kids. Check out the link in the video description for where to buy it. Be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram right here and click right here to subscribe. I really appreciate you watching Twang and Bang and I hope to see you next time.